Hi everyone. So finally some good news for Microsoft in the UK. The Xbox One has finally outsold the Sony PlayStation 4 for one week. Now, just to add a little bit of texture to this, in the UK we have a major game released every single year called FIFA, which is basically our football game. In America they have Madden, in the UK and Europe we tend to have FIFA. Now, in the UK market, FIFA is well known as a box shifter. It sells a ridiculous number of copies and it's also capable of selling a lot of consoles as well. Now what Microsoft did is they put together a FIFA bundle. Xbox console, no Kinect, but with a copy of FIFA 15 in the box. They sold it for £20 less than the Sony PlayStation 4 at £330. That got them the win that week. However, Sony has immediately fought back with their own FIFA bundle and it again reduced the price to £330. What's interesting is this does seem to only be really applicable to the UK market. We aren't seeing these price drops flowing out across the rest of Europe and the world. In many respects, this is Microsoft and Sony seeing what price cuts do in a contained market, as it were, where they know there is a huge amount of buzz and interest. But here's the thing. The simple fact that Microsoft managed to sell more consoles than Sony, even with a very similar price is very good news for Microsoft, even if you remove the kind of £20 discount there. When you think about it, considering the hearts and minds issue Microsoft has been having, to pull level or even pull ahead for one week is fantastic news. It's the kind of stuff we wanted to see from Microsoft if they were really mounting a fight back. From Microsoft's point of view, what they're really going to be worrying about now is if those sales suddenly drop back off again. They need to now maintain, if not a lead, then a close second. Rather than being outsold two to one, it needs to be, we're being outsold by maybe five or 10%. I think they'd be very happy with that. Microsoft has got some big games coming up. Forza Horizon 2, Sunset Overdrive. These could very well shift some boxes for them, especially if there is a groundswell now around units sold with FIFA 15. The user base has increased, so more friends effectively have the Xbox One console, and that could be the decider. For Microsoft, this is really good news, and it's really good news for gamers as well, because we now have competition in the market, and we can see that competition in the sales numbers. Thanks for watching. Do please subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitch, and please like and comment on these videos as well. We love to chat.